Hey, Danny Mike listeners, before we get to the episode today, I wanted to ask a favor. Our new network, The Last Podcast Network, is doing a survey which will in turn improve the content that you hear. It only takes a minute, it's all confidential, and it's just some questions about your listening habits. You can find the link in our description of this very episode. The world was so big. And I was so small Your voice was always The loudest of all It is Guns N' Roses This is Guns N' Roses, yes Yeah, Sweet Child of Mine, it's great Sweet Child of Mine Sweet Child Stuck in a Mine Oh boy, that guy is going very quickly You know, fellas... This is weird. Uh, we've never done an episode while riding in a car. And, uh, it's 11.15 on a Friday night. Right. In the middle of Connecticut. Right. Driving to Southeast Boston Comic Con. The South Coast. South Coast, excuse me. Right. I'll dub that. Don't worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have already done it. They won't get mad at us. <laughs> Michael, uh, as the reigning uh, pizza king, uh, if possible, would you want to give us a little? Uh, what's better? You, you kind of you, you trailed off in the okay, middle right, of your sentence there. Yeah, because well, uh, apparently Look, the, I don't wanna, the I, cops are for there. The listener, and the cops are coming up beside us. You can't hear my phone, my microphone that well because there's a police officer driving. And I don't think you take kindly to me speaking into a microphone. For the record, for the All listener. Right. All right, he's passed. Pick it back up. He, he, that cop, I, that cop has like his lights just. That's how they solid. do it. That's how they do it in Connecticut. In Connecticut, you have to have your lights on when you're. Uh, that's a genius, police officer actually. at night, so you see them on the on the highway and stuff. Oh, that's so that's classy. What's because they actually they, you know maybe they're actually giving a shit about the uh, the drivers on the road because at night it's hard to see them. Right, and it could be scary. You could get into an accident. There's Look, another one's one. going the other way. Yeah, I think that. I think like a a Angel a... just got his wings. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, uh, we just had dinner, um, and heavy you, lies the crown on my head. As yes, as I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if you got a crown on your head for it. I feel like we all pretty much ate the same amount of food. Okay, so then a tie would go to the king. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, not what I'm saying. I'm saying as okay. the reigning pizza king, that comes with benefits. One of the benefits is you get to sort of uh, do the uh, the once over of, of, you know, the overview of what we just did, which was our eat, oh, sure. eat some delicious um, pizza. We were on our way well, to you picked it. the That's northeast. Also, it's also a benefit, South yes. coast. And uh, it, it appeared that this particular pizzeria would be adjacent to the highway that we were traveling upon <laughs> and also right. have food that we could put in our empty bellies at a perfect time on Friday night. So so they we, met all your criteria is what you traveled. We traveled there thinking that we would get a a pie. Right. And, and get a pie we did. We got a pie times three. Well, two of them were small pies. But when you saw how big that, that big one was. You, you don't have to justify how many pizzas we ate. Or three grown men. Three grown men, three pieces of pizza i mean uh, A- which add up to averaging you know i don't know how much was, how many slices were in the the, the mean large? uh well it was, it was sliced 16 well tell them where we went we went to we went to frank peppy's in new haven on worcester street in new haven the right shout small, out one of the smallest little italy's there is but still there packs a punch though yeah for its size Ooh, that pizza was good i've never had it and uh, the stop the sign delicious. apparently sticks with you yeah, well, that's the thing. I, 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 for some reason, and I've seen the sign before. I don't know if it's in like an art book of vintage signs or like, which I apparently read a lot. <laughs> I mean, you maybe you do in your prop mastering research that you do so much. Of. Yeah, yeah. Well, we figured, uh, you know, why not? Well, prop masters don't get good signs like vintage signs. Is that still art uh, art department? That's our department. But, you know, look at the pod studio. We have a Vincent sign. No, they walk over to us with the neon signs and say, make this work. That's true. At the that last is, freaking that, second. That is true, yes. That right, is true. But it's like, oh, camera's about to roll. Shots. Okay, we're putting the we're putting the teardrops in the corner of our eye. Please make this neon sign work right now. Right. 
Also, we have uh, battery-operated candles. Is that you or us? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think we would probably just give you a plug to charge the batteries, and yeah. then you would leave us alone. Yeah. You know what, Mike? I wanted to bring this up, uh, not to distract from the pizza talk, because uh, I'd like to, to get in depth on that because it was delicious. I ask... So I'm, I've been doing film stuff for forever, it seems like, and I call... You know, when I need a power to the cart or something to charge stuff, I say, hey, can I get a stinger? But nowadays... Oh, no, you don't. You don't want to say that. But I, I say it, and people look at me like I'm, you I don't have six to, heads. You Why? You don't want to say that. It's, so, for the listener, stinger it's, used to mean give it, me an extension cable with power so I can power my... It's like... It's like... Um, it's like walking into a Tim Hortons. Okay. Okay, for the listener, it's like walking into a... A Dunkin' Donuts and saying, "Can I get some Tim bits?" Okay. okay. They, they don't or if sell. you walk into a Tim Hortons, you could say, "Can I get a Dunkin' Chino?" Can I get a? Can I get some Munchkins? With the side of Tim. Can I Tim get bits. some Munchkins? Right. Um, it, okay. It, it, you know what? It's not even that. It's that maybe they said it elsewhere. Maybe they said it on the West Coast. Maybe they said it in your non-union days. That's true. Anyway, it's a single extension, so that's what we're going to call it. So, so from now on, just ask for a single. A single, not a stinger. Single extension. But do you know where the stinger came from? Is it's just abbreviation for single extension? What? You've You're heard saying stinger, a stinger though. is a particular kind of extension cord. No. Oh, right. It's one that's plugged like a, in. A bra- uh, oh, right. That makes sense. Because it's uh, No, I mean, if it's if it's hot, it's plugged in. Um, okay. You could. Well, I wanted to you go could to trace the... the etymology back further, but not with me because I I don't remember why. Right. You're losing interest as we. Sorry, guys, I'm getting caught up in this patient's uh, acoustic guitar solo. Is he straddling, crushing it? Okay, well, we can... Uh, f- That's a joke. Have the... Oh, my God. Is that Maggie May? That's Maggie <laughs> May, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, but anyway, back to the pizza. Frank Pepe's? Yeah, I think it was freelancing all around. We had to get a clam pie. I haven't had a clam pie in ages. Yes. And that was good. And Jeremy even had some, so... Yeah, for the listener, I bravely stepped outside of the Jeremy comfort zone. And cried like and a little baby. I was baby. shaking like a baby, but yeah. I did eat a did, clam. His hands were shaking a little bit. Like a leaf. never eaten a clam before in I've his life. I've never seen never. leaves shake, but okay, maybe I've when the wind, maybe when the wind blows. I've never seen a man eat something like that shaking. I have, like, never, you know... It's, I've never watched, like, Andrew Zimmerman eating fucked up <laughs> shit or... Anthony Bourdain eating weird food. Right. We took you to, like, one of the oldest, best, most delicious pizza places in New Haven. Right. And you got to eat their most famous slice. And there he is, shaking like a baby. Like a baby. And and, and the the closer I got to to ingesting it, the more... So the clam pie was good, despite Jeremy's experience. And then Dan and I also got a sausage and anchovy, which we called the salt mine. That's uh, I've never done that before. Again, you we may were, never, we were trying you may never new do things it again. This, this trip. I will probably never do it again. And you know what it is? Because what? when you catch when you catch the anchovy on top of the sausage, there is a I, the, I want, like it takes the oil that the sausage has got and, and the cheese. Oh yeah, and it just dries it up so uh, immediately that uh, I got I'm back dry in salty anchovy town. mouth. Oh, I'm back in flavor country, and yeah. it is bon a big Jovi country. Mouth? Yeah, Bon Jovi mouth. No, this is Guns N' Roses. Anchovy mouth. I uh, uh, I wonder if there's a, a rule for certain places using, like, a crumbled up sausage and other places just slicing a traditional cylindrical right. sausage into coins. You know, the one thing I do miss... I like a little crumble. You like the crumble better? I, is that no, a- no, I really like meatballs. I don't like sausage on my pizza. Oh, guys, hold on. I got something for you. I forgot that uh, I had this. Uh, All right, I the- saw this cool. I saw this cool thing, and uh, when we went to get gas, and I decided to splurge a little bit. You know, spend a couple bucks on my bros. For the listener, when Danny exited uh, the gas station, Mike he was made the whistling comment, through his teeth and smiling, <laughs> ear to ear, ear to ear, shit eating grin. So we have no idea what uh, what's going down right now. This is uh, somebody. Somebody found some pocky at the. Uh, oh. What do we got here? Oh, oh boy, South Which one is Polar it? Which town. one is it? Cranberry lime. One of my oh, faves. Oh nice. One of my faves. What's, it, what's that one? Fave what's ever. that one? What's that one? Put it up. 
Come Put on, it on, is that the one I think it is? is? Admit it. You can turn the light oh, on in the car. Cranberry Clementine. Oh, boy. Cranberry Clementine. Okay. That okay. was actually the last uh, strip club that I okay. went to. Cranberry Clementine. <laughs> oh, what's the one that I got? Yeah, check it out. Oh, what you, do you got, got the berry, the mango no, berry. I got a. Uh, that's edition. a summer. Would you get mango a berry? Summer limited edition. I'm happy with what I got. I know. I got. There's. There's two more. Uh, three more of them. I got uh, two for each of us. Do you guys know wow. why I pulled you over? <laughs> you seem to be uh, enjoying your seltzer way too much. And why, and why are polar. the microphones in your hand? That has to be illegal, right? Thanks, well, Dan. I just saw him because you know we're we're all seltzer kings here, you, and we love know, polar. I I could say that now. Now, with the benefit of hindsight, I can look back and say that your walk from the the market, Chucky's market, adjoining this gas station, right. your 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 gate was effervescent, and that was because of the bubbling bubbling water that you carried with you in the back. Mm, I'm just still riding high from your compliment earlier, Mike. Uh, we I'm were, on cloud what, nine back here on. with your. Uh, you don't remember? He's not even sitting on the seat. Your fizzy water. Yeah, the fizzy water is real good. No, I, I'm just riding a high because Michael C. Marona complimented me on my uh, really toned calves, <laughs> and I really <laughs> thought that was nice of him to say. He asked me if I'd been doing something, and I haven't. I've just, you know, just naturally just doing my it. natural my natural walking thing. What what goes into good calves? I mean, I know you could probably do the. The bench presses for your feet. Or I think whatever. it's my weight on my, on um, you know, what, that I what got. Is, the, what, the thing what is, did you say, Jeremy? Bench presses for your feet. Yeah, yeah. But yes. You, so uh, what, 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 would you, what do you presses? call those? Leg presses. Leg presses. There we go. Low leg presses. And okay. I've, we worked it out. Sure. I the, think if you do those to somebody else, you can get fired. <laughs> yes. What, and you should not do them at the. Did you do any of those at the rap party? Any leg presses? No, 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 no. I would never. I I can't do leg presses and drink. It gives me a headache. Uh, yeah. It's no. a good rule. But uh, it, that this is, other than working out, you know, I mean, I don't know what gives you good good calves. I'm saying I'm walking around with a weight belt, weighted belt, all day, every day. But the thing is, you, I mean, and I know this about you. Oh, like Piccolo in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> nope, don't get, don't know that. I don't know that reference. Although I did send you a, a picture of some Dragon Ball Z that I was I watching one night. Anyway, my point is, uh, uh, I know that from the ankle down, you're not a, a big fan, right? Because you don't you don't like your ankles because they're uh, they're busted. I don't. I don't. It's not a. I don't like my ankles because yeah, my right leg is my right ankle's busted, pretty good, from breaking it. Right. Which you can go back to. Is episode. that an old snowboarding Did incident? I told that story, right? Yeah, several yeah. times. Not several times. I think at least twice. I don't well, That's not several. That's a couple. It, it involved a ice pond and reenacting uh, Charlie Brown oh, yes. kicking the football. That's yeah. right. And he broke his ankles. Either well, way, guys, these things happen. Right. It yeah, hurts. My ankle hurt, sucks, but my calves, woo-hoo. And, and Michael C. knows the, the weight of my heart. Is by complimenting me <laughs> on my calves while he walks behind me, checking them out. Whoa. Uh, in jorts. Let's pull up right there, jorts. <laughs> they, um, they're calves, well, I'll admit it. They're calves that were peeking out from beneath your shants that you were wearing. They're not shants. They're, they're, shants. At, they're not shants, dude. They're, they're at my knees. They're just a little bit. They, if I pull them up, they're a little bit above my they're knee. They're at my knees. If you squat down to, like, get real for a second, do they ride above your knee? Yes. Okay. I would say you tipped your hand by admitting you live on a fifth floor, fourth floor walk up. True. I'm only on the second floor now, so. Oh, maybe that's it. That's a good, that's a very good point. You have a, several floors to walk up. I've weakened. Yes. Yeah, but I've always, I've always had good calves. That's the thing. I've always I had good. Even my, I like the, that you're even modest. when I used to launch myself hey, into into know, Lake Snug. I don't flaunt. I don't flaunt a lot <laughs> about my body. myself into Lake Snug. You gotta have Guys, good calves. I don't to flaunt a lot about yeah. my yeah, body, was, but when I do, he was it's a lifeguard. My he was a lifeguard at Lake Snug. He built himself a a bench back there, <laughs> mapped <laughs> out, oiling yeah. himself with, uh, I'm guessing, CBD oil. Matthew on the uh, on the coast just screaming, use, use your cat, lift, your lift with your calves. Lift with your calves. <laughs> Saying you two would say that? Yes, Matthew. Um, just, to, I guess, an update, uh, just to wrap this, just to wrap this mini soda up, uh, we have hit bumper to bumper traffic. And all of this, I mean, it's great to be talking about calves and stuff, but um, I feel like there, there has to be some sort of traffic-related uh, discussion, but maybe we save that for another one. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, tri- I mean, it's hard. Look, it's harder for me to be uh, podcasting and, and watching the traffic. I must, I'd much rather be cruising. How many hands do you have, Dan? I have two hands. And how many are available? At the moment, one. So that means you could probably uh, get off Instagram. I'm not on Okay, he's not on Instagram. Well, um, I guess that'll wrap up this little mini-sode. Michael, any uh, parting words about pizza or calves? Just the, the lacrosse uh, team in front of us <laughs> c- can probably... It could be blamed for this traffic somehow. They have Connecticut plates. Is that what that means? Because the license plate says LAX crew. Yeah, I doubt it's... Uh, Los Angeles, they, they work for yeah, the airport. I doubt it's people who... Eh, uh, you never know. All right, gentlemen. I think the uh, clam is starting to turn. We better roll down the windows. Why, he's starting to fart? Oh, boy. Really? Come on, Let's, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the button. Jeremy. Thanks for listening, y'all. Bye. Jeremy. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Morona. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening.